Hi there. Hello. Hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Sarah Cordner here. Today's tip is going to be all about how to create your very own blog post. Now, we all know that blogging is a fantastic way for you to get your voice out to the world, for you to share your thoughts, your knowledge, your experience, your expertise, and even just your feelings uh, to create a sense of likeness and commonality with other people. It's also a great way for you to get found. If you have content on a blog, that content is searchable by Google and other search engines and it's actually how people come across your website it's how people come across you your content and anything that it is that you have to sell or offer to people so today I'm actually going to publish a real blog post I'm, um, I've written one that I um, I actually haven't written a blog for ages I've been so busy moving house and settling into my new life and my new town um, I'm doing some beautiful work at the moment for a lovely um, nonprofit organization in my town which I'm absolutely loving um, but adjusting to all of the change has meant I've really neglected my blogging so for me blogging isn't just a way to grow my business and to get my expertise out there and get found on search engines for me it's also therapy um, <laughs> I don't know about you guys um, but I really find that you know taking your ideas your thoughts and processing that um, from the intangible into the tangible is a really really ther therapeutic way to kind of unpack your thoughts what it is that you're thinking how you're feeling and of course then do that in a way that has a positive knock-on effect for other people you, you never really can um, believe how many people people's lives you can change by just sharing how you feel and what you're going through people read that and go oh my god me too I'm not the only one so um, it's pretty it's pretty powerful in lots of different ways now today I'm going to actually um, for real life publish an actual blog post right now I'm going to show you how to do that on a WordPress platform so I'm going to share my screen with you. Um, now, of course, I have actually pre-written my article. Um, I'm not going to write it today, <laughs> um, but I'm going to share this screen with you just now. Uh, we've got that on there. All right, so um, I'm first of all going to show you how I organize my um, my articles. Now, you can't see this very well um, because it's very, very small. But first of all, I want you to know that organizing is really important and keeping your ideas all in one place can really, really help. So I use Google Sheets because Google Sheets you can have on any device, but in the best bit is that you can have it on your phone. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but most of my ideas come to me when I'm not sat at my desk or conveniently have a notebook in front of me. They come to me usually when I'm on the run somewhere and I've spotted something out and about so I open up the Google Docs um, sorry the Google Sheets app on my phone and I've got this document here called um, it's called master list of blogs and articles it's basically where I dump all of my ideas down but also record which ones I went and wrote and so if I have a random idea come up to me I can just jump in on my phone and it will update on this sheet for an idea and when it comes down to actually writing it I can go through all of my different ideas and see which one is inspiring me at the moment now, today's post, um, I've got pre-prepared ready. Um, I've been going through, like I said, a big transition. I've been learning loads of new stuff, a new place to live, new people, new friends, new ways of doing stuff, a new way of life, literally, completely. Um, and all of that has had me really reflecting on what learning actually is. Because when you're in the midst of learning, it totally feels like you're a junk, drunk baby giraffe wandering around corridors in the darkness, bumping off of things. And it kind of makes you feel like you've reverted back to infancy, like you've gone from knowing what you're doing to suddenly becoming the student and being completely dependent on other people and this process that can just make you feel like you are failing at everything. So I've done a little reflection on what, what learning really is and is it failure and this is what I'm going to post today. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is have a place to actually publish your blog posts in the first place. Now, I use WordPress. WordPress is a free tool for you to host your own website. And WordPress comes by default with a blogging section in there. So assuming you have your own WordPress website, what you're actually going to do, first of all, is go into your main dashboard and all WordPress websites look like this at the back end. And you're simply going to press add new add a new post. So we're going to click on posts, apologies, and add new posts. And I'm just going to check my screen here. Is all still going and good? Yes, we are. Alrighty. So <laughs> we are then going to give our post a title. So for me, um, I've got my title pre-prepared. Now, um, a little habit here, guys, is I always like to make sure that um, I write my blog first on Word or preferably Google Docs. I never actually type in and write in my articles directly into the blogging platforms because this is online <laughs> and they can get lost. You know, if you're, uh, I know maybe if your website logs you out or something, if you're gone for five minutes, you could lose everything. So just for the sake of not losing all your work, I always do everything in a Google Doc first where it auto saves, can't lose it that way. And then I just go in and copy and paste the whole lot. In fact, I'm just gonna just go control all copy 
and then I'm going to jump down here and press paste. So this is your section and it should pull everything over, usually except for the images. So I'm just going to um, go through my images. Where did I put my image? My image was underneath Growth Can Hurt. So I'm going to need to save this image over here and keep and use that image. Where, how do I save that? Let's just press save. Save. I don't know. So save and keep. Save to keep, there we go. So now I can grab this image here and save image as. And I'm gonna save it on my downloads. Blog. All right, so I now want to make sure I put underneath growth can hurt. There's a little quote that I absolutely love. And I wanna put that actually in quote marks. So I'm gonna grab this and put it into a quotation and that will give it a nice quotation box. I'm gonna to go to add media, and I'm gonna drag and drop my image that I wanted to include. And that will come up, take its time slowly. <laughs> All right, now we've got the right image. So this is just a beautiful quote that I found that is one of my favoriteest quotes about growth and change. Um, it says, for a seed to reach its greatest expression, it must come completely undone. The shell cracks, its insides come out, and to anyone who doesn't understand change or growth, it would look like complete destruction. I absolutely love that. And I really find um, going back to that, <laughs> that quote when I'm feeling like I'm sort of busting out of my shell and I have no idea whether I'm just spewing from the insides. <laughs> whether I'm dying and failing, um, actually reminds me, no, I'm just growing. I'm just busting out of this shell because there's a new one to a new one to grow into. Um, so I definitely wanted to have a little image there. Now, this is a really great thing about, about blogging, guys, as well, is that if you can add images to your blogs, it does create that extra sense essential stimulation um, and does keep your lead readers going all the way through. I also like to break mine up uh, with little subheadings as well. So make sure you're using the headings feature here on your headings um, because, A, it makes it more SEO friendly, search engine optimization friendly, but it also helps the eye. A lot of people scroll through to major sections. Now, the next thing we need is actually like a blog cover. So I'll just show you what I mean by this, a thumbnail cover. If I take you to my finished blog pages first and we go to sarahcorn.com forward slash blog, what we mean by our thumbnail are these little images here, these images that kind of sum up um, what our post is about. And when this post gets shared across social media, this is the image that will pre-populate in the thumbnail. Now I make all of mine in Canva. C-A-N-V-A, -A, if you've never used Canva. Canva is a really great tool for making all kinds of imagery. <laughs> Absolutely everything from PowerPoint slides to thumbnail covers to marketing material, flyers, brochures, worksheets, you name it, the whole shebang. Now I've created uh, some templates in here. So I'm gonna open up uh, one of these and pull open a thumbnail that I can just reuse. Let me just reuse that one. So I'm gonna go to edit this and um, use one before. Now you'll see on all of mine, I've personally put a picture of myself um, on all of these, and not because I have some bizarre self fetish, right? Um, it's marketing. If you are um, the sort of the brand behind your business, you're the name behind your business, you are gonna wanna get your face out there. The more that you're seen, the more that people recognize you, um, the, you know, the more it is that you're gonna create a sense of familiarity with people and therefore trust, and therefore the likelihood of people to come along and purchase. Now, while that's loading, there's something else I want to show you here about how you can actually start monetizing your blog. Now, up in the very start of my article that I'm sharing today, I've actually mentioned a book that I was reading that kind of triggered this post for me. Now, if you are mentioning any kinds of products um, that that you're referring to in your posts, maybe it's you know actual physical products or books or anything, you can actually make money from this by recommending them as an Amazon affiliate, an Amazon associate. So you will need to go to Amazon's affiliate program, sign up, become an affiliate, and this way you can actually start making money from anything that you recommend. So the, the book here I'm recommending is a book by Melody Beatty called The Language of letting go. So I want to find the link to that book that means that when anyone clicks on it from my blog, I will make money. So I'm going to just find the book here, uh, Melody BT, The Language of Letting Go. This is Amazon's affiliate program. And I need to sign in. That will help, won't it? <laughs> um, okay. Nice. Can't log into my own account. <laughs> 
updated passwords. All right, that's still, that's clearly not gonna happen. Have I changed my password? I must have. There we go, I'm in. So let's try that again. Melody B2, the language of letting go. This will now bring up that book, hopefully, cross and fingers. There we go. So it's now brought up that book and I can click over here and copy the link. Now this link is now attached to my affiliate account. So I'm gonna go into my blog post um, here. I'm gonna get rid of my 493. <laughs> and I've just said Melody Beatty's Language of Letting Go Daily Meditations book. So I'm gonna now add a link, um, press paste and share. And now when anyone clicks that link that recommends the book, it will take them to Amazon. And if they buy that book on Amazon, I actually get a share of the sale. The other cool thing about being an Amazon associate is that if someone clicks on your link to your product, absolutely anything they buy over the next 24 hours is also associated to you too. So if someone goes on a big book buying spree from clicking this particular link, um, I will earn extra money from that. Um, and that's how Amazon Associates program works. So it's really, really cool. And I'm always recommending books because I never stop reading. So um, for me, you know, it's just great that I'm recommending these books anyway. And um, it's a great way for me to make back um, something from the recommendation, how I monetize my post. Now, hopefully um, this, there we go. This, this should have caught up with us by now. Now, let me show you how I get these images of myself on. Now, um, I personally take all of my photographs of myself using just my mobile phone. There's no, I don't have any photographers or anything like that done. Um, and then I just literally create a folder inside my Canva account called Pictures of Sarah. And you can see here on the left hand side, they literally are just me in all kinds of poses. Um, you feel like a bit of a wally when you're doing it. <laughs> There's literally nothing like um, standing there taking all kinds of uh, all kinds of pictures of yourself. You do feel a bit you do feel a bit mad when you're doing it. But hey, it all works out in the end. So I'll just show you how to do this. You can see here I've just taken a photograph of myself. This is just on the selfie timer on my phone. No fancy special effects. But I'm on the paid account on Canva. You can go to effects and press background remover. Oh yes, <laughs> goodbye graphic designers, goodbye expensive contractors and software. Um, this literally just removes the background and you get that kind of professional finish, boom. How good is that? You just can't beat it. So there we go, I'm just gonna give myself a little crop there um, and pull that over, make it a bit bigger. And this is where I'm just gonna add here uh, my title. So again, this is just done using simple text. Um, I can't remember what my post was called now. Are you really failing? Now, of course, I don't want it to be that big. I always like to bring my text down. Oh, door's going now. I reckon that Sybil's just arrived. <laughs> Sybil, by the way, is my acting CEO. She's just flown all the way down from Broome. I'm so excited, but the dogs are gonna go absolutely crazy now. Okay, so I'm gonna make my post by changing all of these. Um, and then when I've done that, so I'm going to put here my own name with Sarah. There we go. So I'll change that, and then you press download, and I'm going to download it as a JPEG once I've changed the title to the correct title. Then I simply add that image here. So where it says change featured image, you just drag and drop your featured image in there, and then simply press publish, and that's it. There you go. So um, while the dogs are doing sound effects in the background, I guess that's my turn to wrap up this post. So there you go, look, it's not as scary and complicated as it looks and feels. Now, of course, when you do anything for the first time and you're learning something new, it does feel completely and utterly alien. But um, remember, the more you practice it, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And actually, the more fun it becomes. It goes from something you have to do to something that you actually find really, really fun. And for me, certainly, it's become something that I have to do to feel like I'm actually expressing myself. I kind of feel like I've been trapped in a jam jar if I haven't had the chance to blog and share for a long time. Um, and that's what happens when something goes from being unfamiliar to becoming familiar to then becoming part of you and who you are. So I'm gonna go do all the dogs <laughs> and go and give cuddle, Sybil a massive cuddle because I can't wait to see her. Um, and I will be back in touch with you all real soon. I hope that helped. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> see ya.